it'll get your heart rate up, it'll get you out of breath like me, and it will send signals to your brain to start ramping up production of testosterone. All right guys, leg day is no exception to the rule this week. We're gonna be doing supersets, but instead of supersetting our arms, we're gonna be supersetting abs or core, all right? So once again, these are gonna be workouts that are designed to basically cram a lot of exercises into a real small time frame. I know you guys don't have a lot of time, okay? Most of you guys don't have an hour and a half to spend at the gym like I do, all right? I love going to the gym. So I love putting these things together so that you can get a ton accomplished in about 30 to 35 minutes. That's my goal here, guys. So, got three different exercises. Each one of these is gonna be focused on our legs, okay? But then we're gonna be supersetting with some kind of an ab exercise. So follow along, guys. I think you're really gonna like this. All right, the very first exercise is a reverse lunge, okay? We're gonna do alternating lunges. So I'm gonna be going from one leg to the other. I wanna knock out about 10 lunges on each leg, okay? Really adds up, guys, all right? So you end up doing 20 steps. And because it's a big muscle group, you really tend to get kind of out of breath. And as soon as we finish that, we're gonna lay down on the floor and we're gonna finish it up with a bunch of flutter kicks. So first off, reverse lunges are an awkward movement, okay? And you're gonna feel really weird and off balance if you don't practice these. Now it's just gonna take just a little while and then you're gonna kinda of get that mind-muscle connection kinda of going again, but trust me guys, do it with just your body weight first, okay? So just kinda of practice, all right? Alternating, now I'm kinda of picking a spot in front of me and I'm just staring at that, it helps to keep my balance. All right, you can kinda of look down a little bit in front of you, all right? So I'm doing it with my body weight. Now one thing you're gonna notice is if you step back and your feet are too close to being in perfectly alignment, you won't have that kind of lateral side to side stability, all right, so you'll lose your balance. So when you step back, you can step back and off to the side a little bit and then down, okay? Off to the side a little bit, down. All right, so once you get this movement going, you start to feel the balance, okay? If you wanna make it tougher, you could just add some dumbbells, guys. So everybody needs to adjust according to your particular fitness level. Because remember, there's thousands of people all over the world doing these workouts, so you need to modify these things slightly, okay, for your fitness level. So to the side down, to the side down, that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, all right, 19, and 20, all right, right there, Whew. let's finish it up with some ab work, I like to put my hands right under my tailbone, and flutter kick, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So, when I say twenty flutter kicks, that's twenty on each side. So, guys, remember, if that's too easy for you, and a lot of you guys out there will quickly get into really good shape, especially with abs. Abs are a muscle group that you can really improve really very quickly on. You'll be very surprised. So, but partly because you can do them three times a week if you really want to, guys. No other muscle group can be hit as often as abs, okay? So, if you guys out there think that 20 
wasn't enough on each leg, ramp it up to 30 or 40. I want you guys to feel a little bit of burn going at the end of those flutter kicks. Got a new leg exercise for you guys. I don't know if I've ever shown you how to do a pulse goblet squat. So before I pick up the dumbbell, I want to go through the form real quick and then you can follow along as I'm doing it with a full-blown dumbbell. So we're going to be doing a squat, okay? Now remember a goblet squat is when you're holding a single dumbbell like this, almost like a goblet position. Now the pulse is going to happen at the bottom of the movement. So guys, I like to go down until my elbows touch my thighs. That is a full range of motion. So if you can't go that deep, I'm fine. Listen to your body. If you can only go to here, okay, I'm cool with that. But go as deep as you can. I want you to get a full range of motion, okay? So this is gonna be a three pulse goblet squat. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two, okay? Got it? Now before you pick up, a dumbbell, guys, practice. If you've never done this before, just knock out five or six reps, just body weight, okay? Get the mind-muscle coordination going, the balance, okay? Now, for you guys that are starting off, this may be too difficult to use a dumbbell, all right? Just do your body weight. You don't have to pick up a dumbbell and do a goblet. Just put your hands together like you're holding a dumbbell and go through the motion with your body weight. So, for you guys that are in a little better shape, Pick up a dumbbell. I'm holding it right here. I'm gonna stick it against my chest, and here we go. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, Two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. Last one. One, two, three, oh, ten. All right, going down. No rest because it's a superset. I'm just going to do a plain old plank. Now, guys, keep your back straight. I'm just gonna knock out about 30 seconds here. Whew. So, you should be out of breath after doing those goblet squats. Especially because I, I put that triple pulse at the bottom. All right, so just focus on a straight back here, guys. Whew. Keep those abs nice and tight. You can count to 30. You can use a smartphone, you can use your watch, I don't care. All right guys, it's been about 30 seconds. Boom. Woo. One set down, give yourself a nice rest, catch your breath. I want you to do three total sets. The last exercise today, we're gonna to be doing calf raises and we're gonna be supersetting those things with my favorite ab exercise. That's the bicycle cross crunch. Now, several different ways to do these calf exercises. I'm gonna show you how to do, do them all the different ways, okay, and then you can pick the one that's right for you. So guys, if you're totally beginning, if you're overweight and you're carrying around an extra 70, 80, 100 pounds, okay, you can do these two calves at a time, two legs at a time. So, guys, you need to pick a wall a chair, something to hold on to, okay, for your balance, all right? So if you're gonna do two at a time, that's the easiest way. And if you don't have a step, you can do them flat on the ground. But the key is, lean forward against the wall like this, okay? See how my calves are already stretched? All right, now when I go up and come down, I'm getting a nice range of motion here, guys. Now, if this is too easy, all right, and remember, Calves are a really strong muscle group, okay? I want you guys to do at least 15 reps, maybe 20 if you're doing these double legs, okay? Now, to make it more difficult, you can do one leg at a time, all right? Knock out 10 to 15, one leg at a time, okay? Then switch over, and then the 
best way, the, my favorite way, is to get up on a step. I don't care whether it's stairs. In this case, I'll have a step right here by my fireplace. And now, when I do one-legged, look at the stretch there. Wow, much bigger range of motion. And guys, don't bounce, okay? Don't bounce at the bottom like this. I want you to go down, let it stretch, and then all the way to the top and hold it, okay? All the way up, hold it for a split second, and then back down. You can do about 10 to 12 on each leg if you're just doing one at a time, and you're up on a step like this. Mm. This is another muscle group, very similar to your abs, that you can work out several times a week if you want to, okay? And your calves, when you do it after a few weeks, will start to adjust and they'll get strong really, really quick. So after you've hit both sides, or if you're doing both legs at the same time, no rest, get down. And we're gonna finish up our superset here with some cross scrunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right. Oh, okay. So, we've hit all of our leg muscles today, all right? So, the first two exercises we were doing, the reverse lunges and then those pulsating goblet squats, really hit your quads, your hams, your glutes really, really well. Didn't do a lot for our calves. Then we finished up with a calf focused exercise, superseted with our abs, of course. So guys, really great lower body workout. What did it take us 30, 35 minutes? I want you to do three sets of these three main exercises, right? So when you superset those, that really means you're doing six sets of three different exercises for a total of 18 sets. That is a great way to get in a super lower body workout in only about 30, 35 minutes. It'll get your heart rate up. It'll get you out of breath like me. And it will send signals to your brain to start ramping up production of testosterone. And man, when, it's, when you get to be my age, I need all the testosterone I can get. All right, friends, don't let friends skip leg day. So I'm your friend, and I'm telling you, don't skip leg day. Just because they're a big muscle group, they make you out of breath, they can actually become fairly painful if you're doing them hard, and that's how I want you to do these legs. Once you get going after a few weeks and get into shape, if you're just beginning, you're not gonna be nearly as sore. For you guys who are just starting off, the legs are easily the, the muscle group in your body that gets the most sore when you really hit them hard. And that's just because you're just not used to it, okay? But I, trust me, after about a month of doing legs, your body really does start to adjust very, very quickly. And you'll notice that you don't get nearly as sore the day or two or three after a tough leg workout. It, it'll make leg day <laughs> way more fun, but you gotta stick through that first month. You gotta stick with it, guys because it doesn't happen open, overnight, right? That means you can't ever give up on yourself.